I am Michael Kiefer. I am an inside sales engineer for Minnesota Air. It's a small company, so basically I've got a lot of roles, but really what we do is we bid, plan and spec, design build work. With We have the carrier line, we've also got 50 other different product lines. So my job is to, if it's a public bid, go out to the site, the website that the public, where there's the information on, pull it, get the plans, and then get the specs. Uh, on the relevant equipment that I'm going to bid. And then my job is to look at it and say, this is a good job for us to bid. This is a bad application of this equipment. I should call the engineer. Um, a lot of times the engineers will call me ahead of time before it even goes out on the street. Unless they help me here put in a piece of equipment, that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, the engineers don't know the equipment. I know the equipment, its limitations, what it can do, what it can't do, what, you know, and sometimes even like the applications, these, the engineers will go, They'll think they can do one thing, and but in reality, it makes more sense to use another piece of equipment. And so that's where I come in, um, and then selling it. Obviously, I mean that that's a whole other, um, <clears throat> whole other thing. It's actually developing a relationship with <clears throat> the customers to where they feel comfortable buying from you. So where. They're, I'm not going to be involved in the, like the design of the building or anything, but they're going to say, I've got this amount of load in my space. I, I need 10 tons of cooling. I know that because I, I've got the selection software. I've got the, you know, the, uh, the AutoCAD and CAT. The AutoCAD spit this out, and it's about right. It looks pretty, pretty close to what it should be. What do you think we should do here? Should this be a DX system, direct expansion, uh, where they're using refrigerant, or should this be chilled water? Should it be, you know, how much heat should we use? Should, are we using natural gas? That kind of stuff will come to me. They'll go, how much air do I need, X, Y, and Z. Is, is, do I have enough air so I won't ruin my equipment? Do I have too much? So that's where I come in where I go, you know, this particular piece of equipment, it's a 10 ton, you know, whatever. You gotta have X amount of, you know, CFM to make this run. You gotta have 4,000 CFM. Um, if you got, 6,000, it's not really going to work, you're not going to, you're not going to dehumidify very well, um, so or, you know, that kind of stuff. That's where I come in and kind of saying, you should really think about this. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes they just go with whatever they want to do. Um, good example of that, there's an ice rink up in Fargo, where we were pounding the engineer saying, <clears throat> and, the, and the contractor saying, you got to have dehumidification, this is an ice rink. Because of the way it was set up, they normally, you want to keep, you know, the air around the ice at a certain temperature so you don't have fog and you want to be dehumidifying pretty well. Well, the end, that end user wanted train for some reason, really wanted train. The contractor wanted to go with train. Our number was cheaper, but they still wanted to go with train. Stuck a train rooftop on the building and guess what happened? About three weeks later it was just it was like fog everywhere. It was cloudy in there because they, they were not taking enough moisture out of the air when they were putting the air back into the space. And something like that where we told the engineer before they did that, they, our, our sales engineer and that told the, the, the design engineer, I would, if I were you, release myself from liability, get a signed contract for releasing yourself from liability because this isn't going to work. And he did that and he, we got a big thank you letter three weeks later because he was not on the hook for this design anymore. He would have had to have paid to fix all that, which when you're talking that big of a system can get expensive quick.